difference between equality and equity. Equality suggests, oh, everyone should get the same amount. The problem with that, not everybody's starting out from the same place. So if we're all getting the same amount, but you started out back there and I started out over here, we can get the same amount, but you're still gonna be that far back behind me. It's about giving people the resources and the support they need so that everyone can be on equal footing and then compete on equal footing. Equitable treatment means we all end up at the same place. Welcome back, everyone. Glad you're all here. Before we get started, I want to ask you all to go over to my boy SJG Perspectives website and follow him there. He's been getting targeted by the YouTube censors as of late, and he's not really sure how much longer he's going to be on this platform. So make sure to go over there. I'll put the URL down right below here so you can check him out. And also, make sure that when you're done here, head on over to Normal America with Robert Nawar. Uh, today, he's got a 24-hour live stream going on that is sure to be super informative ahead of election day. Speaking of that, one more day until we re-elect Donald Trump. Get out there and vote. It's just like Ronald Reagan warned us. This is the last stand, folks. There's nowhere to run if the U.S. falls to Too long ago, two friends of mine were talking to a Cuban refugee, a businessman who had escaped from Castro. And in the midst of his story, one of my friends turned to the other and said, we don't know how lucky we are. And the Cuban stopped and said, how lucky you are. I had some place to escape to. And in that sentence, he told us the entire story. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. If you vote for Joe Biden or Camilla Harris, that's exactly what you're going to get. It'll be repackaged and spun as something else, but it'll be communism. Nothing exemplifies that more than this video that was just released by Camilla Harris that uses conspiracy theories from critical race theory to broadly generalize people based on their skin color, then promotes manufactured and forced outcomes as an answer to their unproven claims. So there's a big difference between equality and equity. Equality suggests, oh, everyone should get the same amount. The problem with that, not everybody's starting out from the same place. We can get the same amount, but you're still going to be that far back behind me. It's about giving people the resources and the support they need so that everyone can be on equal footing and then compete on equal footing. Equitable treatment means we all end up at the same place. So if you're giving a group of people more resources and more support to achieve, how can you possibly call that equality? It's just like everything the left says these days. It's all some sort of Orwellian spin and redefining of words to suit whatever their immediate political agenda is at the time. It's just so obviously nefarious that I don't understand how anyone buys into it. In order for this communist utopia that Camilla wants to exist, the government would have to enforce outcomes, meaning the government would use force to manufacture outcomes. When you think of equality, are you thinking of big government forces that use their power to squash high achievers in order to bring about some sort of manufactured equality? A place where everybody's equally miserable? I mean, what even is this telling black people that they'll be unable to achieve anything unless there's a a big government using its power to wield as a weapon against people with different skin color who happen to be doing better than them. I mean, I can't believe for even a moment that any laws that sprang from these racial conspiracy theories would apply to anybody but white people and maybe Asians. We have, after all, seen actual systemic racism that can be proven in a court of law being used against Asian people at universities like Harvard. Also, Camilla talks about competing on an equal footing. I'm not sure that that's how competition really works. I mean, in a competition, there's always somebody who's gonna be better than the other person. Competition breeds innovation and always improving quality. Failure does the exact same thing. 
Taking failure and competition out of the equation will have very predictable results. You only need to open a history book or just read the news from Venezuela every day to see that this is a recipe for disaster. If you want innovation to stop, greatness to be punished, and begin the transformation of America into a third world shithole, then go vote for Joe Biden and Camilla Harris. You might as well just change our name to Mediocrity Land. That's all for this. Again, make sure to head over to Normal America with Robert Nawar and check out his 24 hour live stream. Uh, but before you go, make sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe. And most importantly, get out there and vote. <laughs>